This is the Bel Air Grad series by David Edding. I first heard about these books in a video by Daniel Green when he was talking about good books to start into fantasy, which I have already started reading fantasy, but I watch some booktubers, book reviewers like Daniel Green, because they usually know what there are a lot of good books are, and sometimes I had missed them. So I decided to pick order the first couple from the library, and then when the library didn't have any, I found out that we actually had these in all the boxes of fantasy books in the basement. So Daniel Green said these were were like Wheel of Time with the with a more modern character style of characters, and he also said there were rangers in them. I did not really understand any modern characters in it. I don't even understand what that would meant, and I read the entire series, and there was not a single ranger. Wizards, rangers, good, evil, it's all there. But I still really like, there are some things in this book that people might not enjoy. The five book series follows Garion, a farm boy who is pulled from his childhood home, thrust on an adventure with evil bad guys and a group of unique companions. Going on the series, uh, Garion Garon goes into a whole lot of, of adventures before finally coming to his own as spoilers as the king of the one kingdom. If you read them, you, you see coming. And that's because this, this is something I call more the generic fantasy of the generic. It's the trope of farm boy to king, which is probably the thing I've seen most in fantasy, not just even counting that you're generic elf dwarf pseudo medieval fantasy setting. So, but even with the more common tropes in the books, I still loved them. They're really well, well written. I like the characters. I like, I even like the story, even though it was, I could kind of see what's coming. It's a good story. There's a reason people do it a lot. Um, I, I, yeah, I even like the retro covers, which I'll have to give you some B-roll of that because they are, they are kind of cool. And I, I like, do they have maps in them? I don't always consult the maps. I'm not one of the peoples that would fold open the map and look at it when they're reading, but I like seeing the maps. There was one other thing that I was particularly interesting is, is these worlds, this fantasy worlds has a set of gods and David Eddings made a very interesting and cool choice to write the prologues that were like from the, the ain't from the texts about the gods or even when the gods showed up, they talked as if they were straight from like the, the narrative there turned almost to a King James Bible style, that older style, and it immediately put me in mind of the King James Bible, and I thought that was a really interesting narrative choice to take um, pre-built conceptions and to just immediately convey the, oh, we're talking about uh, old religion stuff. I would say this book series is kind of similar, see, but when Daniel Green compared it to Wheel of Time, I, in some way he's right because it had all the different races and all the different characters and they kind of had the same dynamics and people from all the different cultures coming together. There was no rangers and I do still feel kind of cheated because I like a good ranger, even though that is also a trope. Now, in my past videos, you might have noticed that when I have a book review, I usually don't end up dwelling on the books, but I end up talking about something else. And that's the same here, because I'm afraid if you come here for really in-depth analytical reviews, I am not really the per kind of person for it, because I like, I like books too much. The thing is, there's there is nothing wrong with the job of a reviewer, but the way a reviewer reads a book is different than a normal person. They are, they are, they've, they've read a lot, so things are, are different for them. Something that might be brand new for someone who's just picked up a series is something a reviewer 
has read a billion hundred trillion times before and they to pick things apart they have to think things super critically and sometimes that that destroy that removes the ability to just kind of turn your brain off i'm i'm not a big fan of completely switching your brain off when reading because i like realism in my stories but reviewers have to kick their brain into overdrive and make analytical statements and all of that stuff and that's not something i'm a big fan of doing i like just reading a book and saying i i like it i do like thinking about what i liked about a book because that makes me a better writer but i don't think i'm i'd ever be able to bring it up to the level of a book reviewer another thing is which would which is another reason why i would not be a very good book reviewer is sometimes i just like keeping the books to myself the three book series i've i've read in the past couple of months have been this belgrad dragon wing which you've also there's also videos on that on the channel but also, I read the Powder Mage Trilogy by Brian McKellen, I think I remember. And I really loved that book series. But I didn't have anything particularly to say. It wouldn't make an interesting video. And it kind of just changes the book. When you pick up a book, it, the book is between the author and you. It changes kind of somewhat when you read aloud. And then you can just share, you share it. But... It isn't necessarily the same when you tell even tell the book about the book to a friend. It's a different kind of experience, though experience might not be the best word. And sometimes I just like having the books to myself. Now again, I I do think that there is a place for, for reviewers. I'm subscribed to three different book reviewers. Daniel Green who also has the amazing fantasy news show, which I, I just finished watching before recording this. Then I, I have followed uh, Library of the Viking. I really like him. And then recently I've been watching Mike's Brooks reviews. And reviewers are important. And if you like books, I'd suggest you go check out one of them. They get a, they, they're in the loop, so they know a ton of different books to read. And so that... It might help you discover a new series, like the Belgrad. I found it. He was talking about it. It sounded interesting, and so I picked it up. But I would suggest you run around for some of the big ch ch book review channels, and try to find a reviewer who kind of shares your taste. It doesn't have to be perfect, but st someone that you think you could get along with, and agree, and that that's a way that you're almost certain to find a ton of books to read. And I'm gonna jump back in and add one more thing. Reason why I wouldn't be a horrible book reviewer is because I'm kind of busy. And I was kind of unprofessional. Case in point, I forgot to add this into the video until after I was done recording and took everything down. So you get a little bit of outside stuff. But I, you might have noticed I, I was doing one video a week. But after a while, I all I was doing, I didn't have time for writing or anything else. I had time for reading because I had to read to make the videos. But I have other things I want to do. I like playing video games. I've been trying to work on F Fallout New Vegas. And I have to restart for like the third time because I made a mistake. And I like writing. And I, over the course of July, I instead of doing one video a week, I decided to, to only do two videos not counting the, the short story top five and any book reviews and i got so much more stuff done even though in july i was crazy busy so you might also see less videos for me only two two or two or three a month i'd say definitely three a month though any book reviews will be if i is, won't be all books like like i said it won't be every single book i will be keep doing dry the drag death gate but it'll be any book that i that i have something interesting to say about that i want to share with you then or it makes me think of something i will have a review anyway i'm going to change the outro to out here because it looks kind of nice and hopefully the audio isn't too bad. But thank you for watching this video. Subscribe. I am uh, right after I recorded the other one. There was another video that was 
that that actually was a really good one about a trick I learned when I was reading all those books. Uh, and I hope to see you in that one. Bye.